the digital scallywags of the Seven Seas and elsewhere. Ooh, the lass has spirit -y. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 pirates in video games. But don't give your heart to a stone. You're too strong for that, princess. For this list, we're taking a look at the video game characters most associated with the title of Pirate, and ranking them based on a mix of popularity, impact, and personal preference. They don't have to be from a pirate-themed video game, but they do have to originate from video games. Now, are you ready? Why fly a black flag when a black beard will do? Number 10. Tron Bone, Mega Man Legends series. Did you get everything? All right then, let's go home! Piracy knows no age or gender, as this feisty little firecracker proved when she made her debut appearance in the alternative Mega Man series. Your history! Your toast! Just you wait! Born into a family of air pirates, Tron was something of a hilarious antagonist due to her easily embarrassed nature and inability to confess her crush on the mullet version of the Blue Bomber. Her popularity soared with fans to the point when she even got her own game. Make sure you don't underestimate her, though. She's packing a hell of a lot of serve bots. It's not over yet. Don't think you've won. Next time, I won't be so easy on you. I'll make sure you pay for this. Number nine, Zack and Wiki. Zack and Wiki, quest for Barbarossa's treasure. Not all pirating has to be doom and gloom. Enter Zack and Wiki, a young boy dreaming of treasure and his adorable golden monkey. Harkening back to the days of silent protagonists thrown into grand adventures, the pair's determination, fearlessness, and knack for puzzle solving makes them the kind of pirates we would want to root for. Just be sure to take a step back when Wiki turns into a bell. Number 8. Captain K. Rule, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. If at once you don't succeed, dress up like a pirate and try to blow the crap out of some more monkeys. The alter ego of the villainous King K. Rule, this crocodile served as the main antagonist against DK's sidekick, Diddy Kong. Trading in his crown for a black flag and a blunderbuss, he may not have been the most threatening of pirates, but he still could take a piece out of you if you weren't on your toes. Number 7. Vice. Skies of Arcadia. Pirates of old, defend our cause! If there was ever a pure-hearted swashbuckler, it would have to be this Blue Roger. Unlike a lot of Square Enix's protagonists, this young captain is outspokenly compassionate and optimistic in all of his endeavors, even when tasked with taking on a whole armada. Driven to succeed and always driving to stand as a role model for his crew, this is a pirate you probably wouldn't mind sailing with. Number 6. Tetra, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker We all know the character of Princess Zelda, an immortal staple of gaming and one who will be remembered for generations. So I guess the obvious next step in her evolution was to turn her into a pirate? And you know what? It worked. <laughs> One of the greatest aspects of the Wind Waker was the reimagining of her character in the form of Tetra, a hard-as-nails captain who is just as likely to cut off your giblets as help you out. She's no damsel and she can handle any kind of distress. In fact, she may want to give up that princess role altogether. Number 5, Baltier, Final Fantasy XII. We're on the Empire's doorstep now, so we shouldn't have to worry quite so much. But that's no excuse to get sloppy. The question that all Final Fantasy fans ask themselves every time they play this 12th installment of the series is, why, oh why was Balthier not the main character? I said you're the one that stinks, Hamshanks. Hear me now? This Sky Pirate is the definition of smooth. He's got the voice, he's got the look, he even has a gorgeous half-bunny lady on his arm. Along with his impressive marksmanship skills, this cool customer could charm the pants off of any enemy just as easily as he could shoot him down. Where are we? Prison, where else? More a dungeon, but it's really all the same. Number 4, Vas Montenegro, Far Cry 3. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Take away the black flag, the eye patch, and the love of treasure, and you may not have much of a traditional pirate. 
But when you fuse the real-life fear of modern piracy with the psychotic persona of this guy, then you have a recipe for a memorable and terrifying villain character. Look at me. Look me in the f***ing eye. Eye! You f Look me in the eye! You're my bitch! Totally without remorse, utterly insane, and with a tendency to leave anyone he crosses riddled with bullets, your only chance of surviving an encounter with Voss is either to run like hell, or just get as mad as him. 30 seconds. And if this jungle doesn't eat you up alive, I will. Fucking death! I said, get the fuck out of here, you chicken fuck! Run, Forrest! Number 3, Edward Kenway. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. What could be more macho than the Italian stallion of assassins Ezio Auditore di Firenze? Well, how about an assassin who is also a swashbuckling, ship-sailing badass with a penchant for trash-talking and taking out Templars on the coast of the Caribbean? You hungry? grandfather of Connor Kenway and buddy buds with Blackbeard, Edward Kenway stands out amidst the franchise as the guy you'd want to go drinking with before you went out and launched a hidden blade into some guy's throat. Quartermaster, what's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bobby. Number two, Cervantes de Leon, Soul Calibur series. You stay I shall never look back. Take the badass piracy of Edward Kenway, turn him pure evil, and just for the hell of it, make him undead, and then you have Cervantes. If you truly wish to meet your end in battle, I will perform the last rites. While Nightmare is the poster boy and primary antagonist of the Soul series, this merciless pirate is not far from claiming that title. When he was human, he purged lives everywhere he sailed and then he took it to a whole new level when he got his hands on a smaller but still lethal version of the Soul Edge. Needless to say, he's worthy of the title, Terror on the High Seas. Yes, this is it! The power I have longed for! <laughs> Before our number one pick makes us walk the plank, here are a few honorable mentions. As unpredictable as he is brutal, Gangplank reigns as Bilgewater's uncrowned king through a mix of fear, violence, and cunning. <laughs> Number one, Guybrush Threepwood, Monkey Island series. Captain's Log, Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. He may not be as imposing as other traditional pirates, but over the course of the Monkey Island games, the character of Guybrush Threepwood goes through what can only be described as a hilarious hero's journey. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. Starting off as a meek young man desperately trying to become a pirate, his various battles and escapades eventually turn him into a dashing rogue of the high seas who also marries the girl of his dreams. It's a classic tale with a hilarious twist that we never get tired of hearing. We also have to give a shout out to his arch enemy, Captain LeChuck. It takes some serious anchors to brush off death numerous times and come back as a ghost, zombie, and demon. That's serious commitment, guys. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Do you agree with our list? But is this not fun anymore? Have I failed to entertain you? Which pirate jollied your Rogers? For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's not over yet! Don't think you've won! Next time, I won't be so easy on you!